We are gifts and we are blessings. We are history and song. We are hope and we are healing. We are learning to be strong. My father had been the principal of Temple Israel in Boston in the 40s and 50s, and he had a special class for students who were deaf. So I knew that this was very feasible, and I wanted to be a part of it. We decided that we needed one-on-one -on -one, uh, help for the students, and we thought, well, this would be a wonderful way to educate the next generation. The fact that there was this really cool program, I just had to be part of it. I'm Shari Zakem Yacobi. And I'm Dina Zakem. And, and we're twins. <laughs> and I remember meeting um, the young woman that I was working one-on-one -on -one with. She had so much spunk and so much personality and just having a great time doing it. The student I worked with, he was deaf. I remember getting invited to his bar mitzvah and I was so excited to go and I went and I got to see him on his exciting bar mitzvah day and how proud he was and how proud his family was. I was a volunteer at the Mitzvah Mentions program with Jewish teens in the classroom. One of the mentions had his bar mitzvah and it was just, you know, great to go to a bar mitzvah on a Wednesday night. And I will never forget the morning my daughter came home absolutely thrilled because her student had looked at her. Because that was one of his goals for the year. When you have a moment like that, you understand what giving to others gives back to you. Every single person on earth is different. Everyone has so much to offer. I think it taught me just that there are different ways that people learn a lot of what, what is done here is teaching Jewish values. Having more consciousness over how you are treating others is a very kind of powerful thing that I think is rooted in Jewish values. The students that we work with here at Gateways, they're profoundly spiritual. And working with Gateways really helped me see the humanity in everyone. Part of it is just like making people feel welcomed and not segregating people into different labels and groups. I can't say that as a 16 year old I knew that I would be pursuing um, a career in special education. And here I am now working at Schechter and partnering with Gateways. And what I bring to the table now professionally is really uh, largely shaped by my experience at Gateways and learning these things as a 16, 17 year old. The lessons that we learned in the early parts of our training at Gateways when I was 15 or 16 years old have stuck with me and are things that I still apply every day at work. I'm a clinical social worker at uh, Boston Medical Center. I'm a lawyer at Greater Boston Legal Services and I uh, represent tenants specifically with disabilities facing eviction and subsidy termination. And I think working at Gateways and going to camp has helped spark my interest in wanting to understand like how people work and how people think. I'm very interested in working with people with disabilities in the future. I really think that Gateways opened my eyes to this passion of mine. I get up every Sunday morning and it's the highlight of my week. Thank you for making my Sunday mornings so much more positive and energy filled. Jewish families with disabilities want the same as Jewish families without disabilities. They want a good education for their children. They want their children to be bar and bat mitzvahed, and they want their children to, to grow up and go on and live good Jewish lives. Oh my goodness, sometimes dreams are realized. From generation to generation, door by door, these lips will praise your name. Door to door, these lips will praise your name.